welcome to this edition of Cavium's Intelligent I.O. Matters video series. My name is Todd Owens and I'm a member of the HPE team here at Cavium. And in this session, I want to show you all the I.O. technology that Cavium now delivers to HPE for their latest Gen 10 server platforms. Let's get started. On July 11th of uh, 2017, HPE launched their new Gen 10 servers based on Intel's Skylake Perly uh, processors. And this is across the entire x86 server portfolio. Now this included three new HPE ProLiant DL servers uh, and the new HPE Blade System C-Class server, the Apollo 230K server, and a pair of new compute nodes for HPE Synergy. The new addition in this launch from an I.O. perspective from HPE and Cavium is the HPE Synergy 6810C 2550 gig Ethernet adapter. This adapter boasts 25 and 50 gig Ethernet capability uh, for server to server communication inside the Synergy frame. It's based on the Cavium's 45604 uh, controller that we call Big Bear. The key feature is not only the additional bandwidth uh, when you compare it to say 10 or 20 gig Ethernet, but also the fact that this supports uh, remote direct memory access or RDMA. We support both Rocky and Rocky V2, as well as uh, iSCSI over Ethernet with RDMA or ICER. And the adapter also supports a, a pretty hefty 68 million packets per second uh, via the DPDK capability. Uh, and it connects to HPE Synergy 25 50 gigabit switch module uh, that is managed by a network operating system by Mellanox. So why should customers consider transitioning to this higher performing 25 and 50 gigabit Ethernet bandwidth? Well, 25 and 50 gig reduces total cost of ownership with fewer connections per server and improves application performance with the RDMA capability. It provides good economic value as well in terms of cost per gigabit per second, uh, more than 50% lower than a 10 gigabit Ethernet offer. So who are the target customers for this new HPE Synergy 6810C uh, adapter? Well, really it's the customers who are looking for the ultimate in high performance and low latency Ethernet connectivity. This includes uh, customers in the high performance compute and cluster environment, uh, scientific and computational applications, certain folks in the financial applications uh, sector, those doing big data with things like SAP HANA and more, and potentially even customers who are deploying uh, Microsoft Storage Spaces. Here are some of the key technical capabilities of the new 6810C for the HPE Synergy solution. This includes the stateless offloads that you'll find in all the Cavium HPE uh, Ethernet adapters, tunnel offloads, uh, VXLAN, NVGRE, and the GRE uh, features, I mentioned the RDMA and the ICER support, and also uh, these adapters come with security features, including signed firmware and secure boot and audit logs uh, to provide enhanced security as part of the uh, Gen 10 platform. There will be additional features like iWarp RDMA that will be added over time in firmware upgrades down the road. Now some really exciting news is that Cavium's existing 10, 20, 25 gigabit Ethernet adapters move forward from Gen 9 into Gen 10 as well. This makes Cavium the leading supplier of I.O. across the Gen 10 platform. We've got more I.O. SKUs supported than any other supplier to HPE. These branded Cavium adapters have common adapter ASIC technology across Gen 8, Gen 9 and Gen 10 platforms. And what this does is provide your customers with a short connectivity and consistency in management, which allow them to standardize across generations of HPE servers and lower their overall TCO. All of our Ethernet adapters that were supported on the HPE Gen 9 servers are now supported on the HPE ProLiant Gen 10 server as well. This is also true for the HP Synergy adapters and for our 16 gigabit and 32 gigabit fiber channel HPAs. Here's a complete list of the 10, 20, and 25 gigabit Ethernet products from Cavium for the HPE Gen 10 servers. The new 6810C Ethernet adapter joins the 2820C and the 3820C converged network adapters for HPE Synergy 
Gen 9 and Gen 10 servers. The HPE 530, 533, 534, 536, the 620 QSFP28 PCIe and flexible ARM rack adapters, and the HPE Store Fabric CN1100R CNAs that were supported on Gen 9 are now also supported on Gen 10 servers. And the HPE 534M, 536FLB, 630M, and 630FLB adapters for HPE Blade System Gen 9 servers also move on and are supported in the Gen 10 HPE Blade System server as well. As I said earlier, there are more cavium-based adapters supported on Gen 10 than from any other supplier uh, to HPE. For fiber channel HPAs on Gen 10, here's the list of supported HPE branded adapters based on the QLogic fiber channel technology from Cavi. HP is supporting both Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel and Gen 6 32 gig fiber channel with these Gen 10 server platforms. And this is the current list as of August of 2017. The value proposition of Cavium technology for HPE customers remains unchanged with Gen 10. Our IO technology provides HPE customers with enhanced flexibility, superior scalability, and provides the best price performance across all the IO options in the HPE catalog. So the call to action is to follow the wire and include a discussion on IO connectivity and all the Gen 10 sales opportunities that you have. Now, some of the sales plays include discussing the ability to future-proof Gen 10 servers connecting to one gigabit ethernet networks uh, by using the 10 G-based T offerings, or discussing the benefits of 10 and 20 gigabit ethernet flex fabric technology for HP Blade Systems and HPE Synergy servers. You can educate customers on the added flexibility and scalability they get with advanced features found in the HPE branded Ethernet and FlexFabric adapters from Cavium, things like storage offloads, NPAR, and more. Or look to lock out your competition with the HPE exclusive 4 port 10 G base T, 536 FLRT, and the 4 port 25 gigabit 620 QSFP adapters. Uh, these adapters are from Cavium and no other server vendor has these particular adapter configurations. Or finally, you can talk about the benefits of high performance 25 and 50 gig Ethernet uh, with RDMA capability for those HPC and high performance uh, compute customers. No matter the discussion, by following the wire, you can expand your opportunity beyond just the Gen 10 server and include additional opportunities for network and storage technology as well. For more information, check out our website at www.qlogic.com slash info slash HPE. Here you're going to find a lot of information on the products and the technology that we touched on today. This is including uh, white papers, data sheets, technology briefs, and more. And if you're interested in HPE specific training on the IO technology from Cavium, uh, check out our HPE training site at hpe.qlogictraining.net. Here you're going to find a variety of short on-demand training courses and you'll have the opportunity to gain certifications on HPE and Cavium adapter technology. Uh, if you're a first time user of this training site, be sure to use the access code shown here to view the HPE specific materials. Uh, check out other Intelligent IO Matters videos on YouTube's QLogic TV channel. And for all you sales and pre-sales folks out there, sign up for the Cavium Follow the Wire Rewards Program to earn points that you can use towards sporting events, concerts, vacations, and more simply by engaging with the Cavium HPE team or learning more about Cavium and HPE IO technology. And as a thank you for watching this video, program members or those that sign up now can use this promo code cavium 4 gen 10 and get 500 points in their account just simply for watching the video. This is valid for the first 100 viewers to claim the reward. Well, that's it for this session of Intelligent IO Matters from Cavium. I want to thank you for your time and your attention. And if you have any questions or need any help, please reach out to us via email, Twitter, or LinkedIn. With that, I want to say have a wonderful rest of your day.